Hi, I'm with Extruded Solutions, and today we're here to install our patented tailgate seal with taper seal on a Honda Ridgeline. <coughs> so this particular tailgate has a dual action tailgate feature. So it could go down like that, and open this way as well. And we also, on this one here, the trunk can uh, open up here and for storage in there. So that affects how we're gonna install this as well. So it's a bit different. And we can get started. So the kit will come with all the necessary components. It'll be a vehicle specific kit. Uh, this is a packaged and I've already taken out the pieces here. There's standard tailgate seal and also 14 inch length of a large tailgate seal. And you'll have your directions as well as a pictorial card. So we've gone through already and we cleaned the entire surface with a good cleaning solution and wiped it dry. Uh, we've also gone through with the isopropyl alcohol preps and gone over the areas where the adhesive is going to be applied and we found out those errors by looking at the uh, insert card to determine the exact position of these seals. In this case, um, like I said, we've already cleaned it and it's this area here, here, as well as here, and then along the horizontal tailgate gap, pretty much the same on the other side. Before we attach the adhesive, we're going to be using adhesion promoter primarily on the areas that have plastic. And in this particular truck, there's a lot of plastic. Uh, unlike most every other truck, we have painted surfaces, so it's important to use this. Uh, the other option would be to apply the seal and wait about 48 hours with your tailgate down. So that usually is not going to work. In this case, you get an instant bond, and we're going to be applying the adhesion promoter to this area, down the side wall, right around there, also over here, which we pre-marked, and then along the horizontal tailgate gap, and then about the same area on this side, the side wall, and back up over here. Next, we're gonna be cutting the length, the designated cut length pieces of both the large and the standard. I've already cut the four and three quarter inch lengths. We'll need two of those. We'll also need a two of that large and an inch and seven eighths. So let's go ahead and mark that. Scissors will work okay. These actually work really nice, something with an anvil and a straight blade. Okay, and then we have cut pieces of the standard, two of those at two inches. We're going to be applying the tailgate seal, the standard size, to the sidewall. In this particular situation, we're going to be uh, adjusting the seal as we go up. So the seal will manipulate this angle, uh, but primarily we want the bulb of the seal to be out this way. Um, so it's like that, all the way up. So we're going to use our adhesion promoter because this is plastic. And this has a uh, reversible tip. This is a round tip or the chisel. I prefer the chisel, get more coverage area. And this just depresses in order to get the flow going. 
So once it's down, you can shake it a little bit. It's not too necessary. We're going to compress. And again, it's just the area where the adhesive is going to apply. So do about a, a 5 8 maybe 3 quarter inch width. We're going to be doing this area here, so I'll go ahead and apply, apply this area as well. Okay. That normally takes about 15 to 30 seconds to dry. Depends on the coating thickness, but we'll give it a couple more seconds or so. Okay, now we're going to peel back the liner. And this is 3MST 1200 tape, which is... Uh, an excellent tape and we're going to start on that lower section so right up to where it ends so we're going to flush that no need to apply anything but light pressure at this point you see how I'm angling it a bit but I'm keeping that side of the adhesive along its edge of this sidewall. Then let it get higher, the seal will twist, and then back up. And according to the pictures, your stop is right here. So we can go ahead and mark that so we know where to cut before we push it down. We're going to be cutting about right there. The seal can be compressed a bit or stretched just a tad. Rather not stretch the adhesive if you don't have to, but a little bit's not so bad. So we're right there. Okay. Now, because you applied the adhesive promoter, uh, you're not going to be able to readjust this seal. So it's important to get it right the first time when you're using adhesive promoter. So take your time. Now we can go through here and just press this out a little bit. We're going to come back later and press this out further. And you want to give it about 25 pounds of pressure. So if you're not sure what that is, you can always go to a scale and press on the scale. It's not a lot of pressure. Okay, next we're going to apply the four and three quarter inch large tailgate seal to this section here. Now we're going to come over here, flush up against the seal on the sidewall and be flush with the top here. Conform to the curve. And then apply your 25 pounds of pressure. Next we're going to apply the two inch standard seal along here. So let's put some adhesion promoter. And the reason why we're doing that is because the seal on the truck bed trunk cover, which will flip up for storage, and we'll show you that later, only extends about right here. So this area here will allow water and dust in. So we're going to fix that little issue. Okay, now we're going to flush the bulb of the two inch piece to the bulb on the sidewall. And we're going to press it down to that gap just a bit, but not too far inward as we want the trunk lid to still be able to open up. Okay, there we go. Now apply firm pressure. Next we're going to apply the two inch length large tailgate seal to this area here which I've already pre-marked and let me show you how that is done. So we're one of we want the fins of the tailgate seal to flush against the side of the truck just barely. 
determine that area. So let's see if I'm right. Is it about right? We're going to install our tailgate seal on the right sidewall. So let's use our adhesion promoter. Again, about five eighths of an inch to three quarters, as much as you can. And some parts the adhesive isn't going to touch the whole thing. And we can get down here since we know that piece is going to be going right here. And then up on top. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's start putting the standard seal on the sidewall with the bolt side facing in. Again, adjust to the curvature of the sidewall. As you near the top, you're going to cut right about there where the large is going. So let's mark that. Okay. We'll apply very firm pressure, 25 pounds. Okay, next we're going to attach our large piece of tailgate seal, the four and three quarter inch, right like we did on the other side. Flush the bulbs. Flush with the top, just follow the curve. All right, and let's uh, apply our two inch piece, cover up the area of the trunk lid. And again, let's flush to the bulb here, flush to the lid. Okay, next we're going to apply the inch and seven eighths large piece like we did on the other side. I've already marked it, but let me just double check the mark. Okay, mark looks good. Close the tailgate just to check for the bond here, but because keep in mind that we used 
the adhesion from on here and not gonna be able to readjust this seal. Uh, so that's why first time you need to be precise as far as your position. And just follow the directions and you'll be fine. Okay, looks real good. Next we're gonna apply the seal to the tailgate gap. Next we're gonna apply the standard tailgate seal to the tailgate gap. And the bulb side is going to be up in this situation. Sometimes it could go down. Uh, if it's a very tight fit you find, then you can invert the bulb down. Um, and there's a video instruction on that at tailgateseal.com. Should, should the bulb rotate too much while you're closing the tailgate, you can see the adhesive. And you can always experiment with a one or two inch piece first. But we've always had the ridge line bulb side up, so that's where we're going to install it today. So we're going to apply our adhesion promoter. Now you can always open the, the dual action tailgate and do it the other way, but there seems to be enough room right here. Okay, let's peel back the liner. About a foot at a time is probably pretty good. And we're going to flush the bulb to the bulb on the sidewall. And the top of the bulb is going to be flushed with the truck bed floor. doesn't interfere with the key mechanism of the trunk area. If it did, you could always invert the, the bulb down in that particular area. But in this case, you're fine. So let's go ahead and mark out and we can cut before we actually press down on it. Okay, so we can press on that really firm. Again, 25 pounds of pressure. So let's go through this whole application and press again. And that's going to wet out the adhesive to get that really good bond. And in this case, because it is attached to plastic, even though we're at Use an adhesion promoter. It is best to leave your tailgate open for 24 hours, but 30 minutes should be fine, especially if the temperature doesn't drop below uh, 50 degrees. So again, we'll just press this out. Again, this being attached to all plastic, it's a bit unique. So I unknowingly would probably leave your tailgate open for 24 hours.
course, we have the top piece on the tailgate as well on both sides. Okay, we're going to close the tailgate the standard way, and then we're also going to close it with the dual action way. Okay, there you go. Um, the pictorials are at tailgateseal.com, and they're also included all those pic pictures in the vehicle specific kit, at, which can be purchased at tailgateseal.com with links to extrudedsolutions.com and amazon.com. Next, we're going to open up the dual action part of the tailgate up the trunk of the truck bed and just to show how those seals are going to work right here. Okay, so you can see the seal here and as that comes down, you got your nice cushion. Okay. Be sure to check uh, rockblock.com as there'll be a video on how to install our rockblock plus kit, which will allow you to, to uh, uh, use the dual action tailgate design of this truck. So thanks for watching.